This morning, we're going to find out more about feeding station crew members and their Thanksgiving menu. My guest is Vicki Claris, the International Space Station Food System Manager. Yes. Make sure to get that right. Well, thanks for having me. Um, thanks go. for having me today. Um, In general, Vicki, tell me, how much food does it take to feed an astronaut? Well, if you look on the average, um, we're looking at about four pounds of food and packaging per person per day. Four pounds mm -hmm. a day. That sounds like a lot. Yeah, it, it is a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and when you consider some of that is dried and they're having to add water to it, then, yeah, it is a lot. Do American astronauts only eat the American food that you and your folks are getting ready for them? Well, our responsibility is to feed the three U.S., what's called USOS, the U.S. segment crew members. And then there's three cosmonauts on board, and the Russians have the responsibility to provide food for those. However, it is up to the crew on orbit to decide how they share the food and how often they share the food. So, yeah, they do share, uh, and it varies from increment crew to increment crew as to how much. How far in advance do you have to work to, to plan for this, to, I mean, to get, for instance, food for Barry Wilmore on the station when he is there? Actually, we are working uh, typically about 18 months in advance. So we have a standard menu. Uh, so most, most of the core menu is the same. And so, you know, we just preposition that. But then each crew member gets a certain amount of preference food. We call them bonus containers. Uh, and so they, you know, that container has their name on it with their selections in it. And so that's what we have to be sure is there at the right time for them to utilize. And are you able to use all of the different delivery ships, the d delivery trucks that are going to the station? Yes. Uh, over time, we have used them all. We used to use the Progress a lot, but now that we have the commercial carriers on board, uh, SpaceX and Orbital, so we're not using Progress as much for food, um, but we have used Progress. We use HTV, which is the JAXA cargo vehicle. We used ATV when it was flying, right. um, and so, yeah, we utilize all these different cargo vehicles. If you're working that far in advance, you've got to be sending things that can stay good for that long, that, yes. that, has, that need some kind of special preservation? Yes. So the challenge that we have is that there are no dedicated freezers or refrigerators for food on orbit. So all of our food has to be shelf-stable and last for a very long time. So we're using freeze-dried products. We're using thermostabilized products, which are like canned products, except we put ours in pouches instead of cans because the pouches are lighter in weight, which is advantageous when you're launching it to orbit. Right. Um, so, yeah, we use really, and, and we do use some irradiated meat products as well, so um, we're using a variety of products that create shelf-stable items. You've got a few samples here. Are, are some of these the, the things that are thermostabilized and yes irradiated. actually thermostabilized products so for example the turkey that they have available to them for tomorrow mm -hmm. if they choose to use it for Thanksgiving um, this is a thermos well this has been actually made shelf stable by irradiation um, so this is product is ready to eat they just warm it up cut it open and eat out of the package with a fork or spoon. We also have, for instance, we have candied yams. This is like a canned product, so this is thermostabilized, and, um, it, but it has been done in a pouch to make it lighter in weight. Mm -hmm. um, so we have many of the traditional products available to them that you and I might have on our table tomorrow. So we do have a dressing, a cornbread dressing. It's freeze-dried, so they would add hot water to this. And um, we have mashed potatoes. We have green beads and mushrooms. Um, the not beverages. So green are the beans. Well, no. Not in that state. <laughs> not in that state. They'll be greener when you yeah. add water. Yeah. Uh, and then we have uh, powdered beverages. In this case, I brought a, a tea with lemon and sugar. So they would rehydrate this, uh, put it in the. They do have a small chiller where they can chill their beverages, and then they would have to drink the beverage through a straw. Now, they don't have a. You didn't send up 
the Thanksgiving meal, right? No. We pack what's called pantry style. So all the meats are together, all the veggies are together, and they actually assemble their meals real time. So crew members, so we don't have a like a set-aside meal for Thanksgiving, but they do have all these products available to choose from. And crew members who know that they're going to be on orbit during the holidays, they often put special items in their bonus containers with the holidays in mind. So we don't typically reveal what crew members have chosen for their bonus containers, but I can tell you in the past, crew members have taken things like cranberry sauce that they wanted to have on orbit, some of the shelf-stable icings, frostings that you get in tubs. They'll take those and they'll decorate cookies with those for the holidays so uh, crew members who you know who want to do have a means to take some special items to orbit for the holidays and they've got all of the American food to draw on plus everyone plus else Russian plus food. Russian food too. and right now uh, we have an ESA crew member on board Samantha Cristoforetti and so she has taken some specialty uh, ESA European items with her and so I'm sure uh, and she has taken enough that there is enough to share with her fellow crewmates mm-hmm. so I'm sure some of those will likely be involved in their joint meal for the holiday tomorrow. Do they have to make any special provision on orbit for the leftovers? Well, actually, they can't keep leftovers uh-huh. on orbit since since we don't nice. really have a refrigerator. Uh-huh. Um, they're you know they really have to either eat it or toss it because they really don't have a way to preserve leftovers. Mm-hmm. So four pounds a day. That still yeah. sounds like a lot. But you have to remember that's the packaging as well as the container oh, that it's okay. in. Not just so the it's food. not just the food. They're but, not eating that much. But it still much. is a significant amount. Right. Yeah. Vicki, it was very interesting to, to learn about this. Thank you. Thank you for coming today. Well, you're welcome. Vicki Claris is the manager of the International Space Station Food System.